Let's proceed with the techniques of circuit analysis, nodal and mesh. So first, let's uh, talk about uh, what are planar and non-planar circuits. So planar circuits are cir circuits that can be drawn on a plane with no crossing branches. So if you look at uh, this figure A, you will see that R7 and R8 uh, crosses each other at this point. But R7 can be drawn connect here. So it is connected in this node and this node. So the drawn circuit is this figure B. So this is still considered A. So figure A is still considered a planar circuit. So looking at this circuit here on the right side, uh, this cannot be withdrawn so that no branches will cross. So let's keep that in mind because there are techniques that can only be applied to planar circuits. So terms for describing circuits. So identifying nodes, branches, mesh, and loops. So if we look here, all the nodes are labeled. We have node A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So from these nodes, we shall identify the essential nodes. So remember, an essential node is a node where three or more circuit elements join. So three or more. We have this node right here. So node C is an essential node. And node E is an essential node. As well as node B and node G. So those are essential nodes. So which branches are um, essential branches? So remember an essential branch is a path which connects two essential nodes without passing through an essential node. This right here is an essential path. Two nodes are connected, but it only, but it does not uh, pass through an essential node. Starting right now, we will label, um, we will not label every node, but we will label the essential nodes. Now let's proceed with the first uh, technique in circuit analysis. So the node voltage method or the nodal analysis. So the nodal analysis is a powerful method based on KCL. So these are the te steps to determine the node voltages. So select a node as the reference node and assign voltages V1, V2, up to Vn-1 to the remaining N-1 nodes. So the voltages are Reference with respect to the reference node. Two, a second, apply KCL to each of the n minus one non reference nodes. Use Ohm's law to express the branch current in terms of the node voltages. So number three, solve the resulting simultaneous equations to obtain the known node voltages. So let's demonstrate the node voltage method or the node analysis. So step one is to choose the reference node. So the choice of reference node is arbitrary. 
So you can pick any node as reference node. But practically, uh, the node with most branches is usually a good choice to simplify the equations. So we take a look at this um, circuit. We have one, two, and bottom node here. Three. Three nodes. So a good choice for reference node is the most branches that are connected to it. So we'll choose this bottom node as our reference node. The next we will label the uh, remaining non-reference nodes. So we will label this node as V1 and then this node as V2. So a node voltage is defined as the voltage rise from the reference node to a non-reference node. So voltage rise meaning the reference node is the uh, negative sign of the voltage and the node voltage is where the positive sign the voltage. Negative. Negative. And current flows from a higher potential to a lower potential in a resistor. Next, we will apply KCL to each of the uh, node voltages and then express the currents in terms of node voltages using Ohm's law. So to know the derivation of the node analysis, let's take a look at this loop right here and node Nodal voltage V1. So let's assign a current flowing this direction. Let's label this as I. And so for uh, convenience, let's label the applied of the voltage across this one ohm resistor as positive and negative and then let's label this as V so KVL of V KVL of V we have negative 10 minus V plus V1 plus 2 0 so let's express this V in terms of the current I. We have a negative 10 minus V is just I times 1 plus V1 equals to 0. So solving for I, I is just yes, V1 minus 10 over 1. So we can express the current I in terms of the node voltage V1. So this is Ohm's law. So if you take a look at this equation, the current I, if I is in this direction, going outwards from V1, node V1, I is just the node voltage minus the voltage at the other end of this branch all over the resistance of the branch. So again, if the current is in, in this direction going out from the node volt going out from the node it is just equivalent to the node voltage minus the voltage at the 
other end of the branch all over the resistance of the branch. So for convenience, this is V1 for the node voltage. We assign the current direction as going out from this node. We have current right here, current at this branch, this current at this branch. So when we apply KCL at V1, we have V1 minus 10 over 1 plus this current right here. So this current right here is just V1 minus 0 since the reference node is 0 voltage all over 5 plus V1 minus V2 all over 2 equivalent to 0. We have equation 1. Now for equation 2, we apply KCL at V2. So again, for convenience, we assign the currents. We assign the current directions as going up from the node. So this is since this branch right here, the current source. So we leave the current uh, direction as is. The current direction is inwards. We have uh, KCL at V2. We have V2 minus V1 all over 2 plus V2 minus 0 all over 10 and minus 2 plus 2 0. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. We can solve for the node voltages.